government's budget is skewed towards consumption expenditure. It has difficulty achieving its target for development expenditure. A reassessment of government spending is required, and in addition, government must also consider improving its tax effort. The fiscal position must be improved. However, we must look beyond the size of the fiscal deficit and interrogate the size of government spending and revenues, the composition of government spending, and which groups bear the burden of taxation. Madam Chair, Ghana's ratio of government spending to GDP and the ratio of government revenue to GDP is below the African average. The recent rebasing of the gross domestic product, which revealed that the economy is much larger than was originally thought, reveals that the tax and spending ratios are much lower than we thought them to be. This means that the government must ramp up its tax collection effort. This will provide it with the fiscal space to increase spending in ways that will contribute to the well-being of its citizens. Now, political economy comes into play here. Whose expenditure and income should be taxed? The answer I provide is that the burden of taxation should be minimized for people at the lower end of the income distribution. This does not mean that they do not pay taxes, but that the share of their income that is paid as taxes should be lower than the share paid by higher income groups. Neither individuals nor companies enjoy paying taxes. Which groups are more likely to successfully resist being taxed? The withdrawal of the tax on luxury cars could provide an answer. We need more tax revenue to finance our social spending and investment in infrastructure. But why should formal sector workers, a very formal sector workers and indeed formal um, sector or formal businesses, a very easy group to target in an economy where the informal sector is so large? Why should this group pay more taxes when they are already paying so much? Why should we pay more taxes when there is evidence each year of embezzlement, waste, and downright theft of taxpayers' money? Why should we pay more taxes when the quality of public services that these taxes are supposed to finance leaves a lot to be desired? Why should we pay more taxes when anecdotal evidence suggests that some of us have to make unauthorized payments to revenue collectors which do not enter the state's coffers? The official tax ratio may be lower than the actual if these anecdotes are more than just anecdotes. If tax revenues are to be increased in order to create more fiscal space, the government must address the issues just raised. In addition, government must explore ways to make it easier for us to pay the required levies and taxes. Sometimes there's just too much effort to pay that we have to put in to pay some of these fees.